so this is the ductwork. We're going to mount this, I think, right about there now. This is the one that we give in the kit. Um, I could mount it underneath, but it's going to make it a little tight. So I've decided I have one in the shop here. Just going with a, it's a 3 8 inch hose barb, 3 8 inch NPT, National Pipe Thread. I think we're going to put it right here at about the... Um, so 12, 3, maybe about the 4 o'clock position. That will be the best, I think, for placement. Okay, so about right there. So in plastic, what we find is this 9 16th inch spade bit, just a wood bore bit. That makes a really, that's a good size hole. So let's go ahead and just check that out. I think we're going to want right there. We like to use, we have these laying around. These are uh, 3 8 three eighths NPT threads. Um, you could force this through the plastic. You might need a little bit larger hole, but uh, for us, I like to use a little thread, get it down at Ace Hardware. Makes for a nicer connection. And this is a pretty heavy wall. It's just, um, let me see if we can get it closer. You can see. That's pretty thick, eighth of an inch, right? So I think I might be able to do this manually. Let's see here. Yeah. Very little effort. Okay. It helps just get a little bit of threads on there. And let's see here. See if that'll do it. There we go. We'll put a little bit of goop on there. Make sure that you don't have, uh, make sure that you clear out, blow this out and get all the dust out of there. And, uh, See how nice that is. And then later on, it's easy to replace this and just screw in a 3 8 inch end plug, glue it into place, and it'll be good as new. And uh, that's an easy way to do it. And from, from the car itself, you really can't see anything at all. It makes it, that's how we like to do it out here. Okay, so I'm gonna get some glue. We like to use this, uh, E6000. Um, you can use goop. This is the industrial grade of goop. This stuff works really good. You can buy this now at Ace or Tap Plastic online. Ace Hardware's here in the US has it. Something similar to this. It's better than silicone. It holds, it's very tenacious, and it holds up with the uh, the heat, and it holds up well with um, with the alkaline, with the HHO gas. Uh, we used to use it to glue all of our fittings in our reservoirs, but now we don't have to do that because everything's molded into place. So for this, this is black, you can use clear as well. Let's pull that out of there. Okay, the way I like to do it, I like to put it on nice and heavy. It's pretty viscous already. Put on more than you need. Take and uh, I 
make sure you don't have any on the inside. Eleven sixteenths. <laughs> Let's try that again. Don't over crank it either, just snug it up nice and tight. It does not take much because you don't want to strip out your threads. Okay. And then take your finger, kind of smush it all around. Make sure we're good inside there. There we go. It makes for really nice. It's easy to pull it on and off. Easy to tighten. Uh, you got to make sure you got to be able to get your clamp, your screw and your clamp. All right. We're going to let that set up for a little while and then we'll put that on. Okay. So we've let this set up now. You can see where we're, uh, where we've put the, the uh, inlet. Okay. So we've taken, put the hose clamp on there so that it's easy to get to. Slip that in. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on before I install it. Be easier. Okay, so I think we've got it.